Hey folks, Bert from BTR Fabrications here. I got asked to make this aluminium tube framework and I said yes to the job knowing full well I didn't have the bending dies and the tooling to be able to do the bends but it gives me the opportunity to try out an idea that I had for a really long time and wasn't 100% sure that it was going to work but needed to give it a go. So that blue bit in the middle there is a bit of aluminium offcut that I've had laying around in the workshop for quite a while. And then these yellow bits are 3D printed bits. That last bit there, the pressure die, doesn't look like that when I start out, but we'll get to that and you'll soon see. The grey bit in the middle there is the mandrel. We're going to have to turn that on the lathe. And I just have a manual lathe, so it'll be a little bit tricky. There's a, a whole lot together there. Looks pretty sweet in the old Fusion, doesn't it? There's the Prusa getting on with the 3D prints. Set that going before I had to work in the morning. I love a bit of yellow 3 filament. That's that aluminium offcut that we were talking about. Turn that up on the on the lathe and the mill. Use the lathe to make the hole in the middle and the mill to make the flat spot and the holes for the bolts to go into. Just attaching that to the handle that I use on the bending machine and this is the beginnings of the mandrel. So start off making those little steps that you see there using the regular cutting tool and then have at it with a file. Super sketchy doing this, makes my toes curl every time. You just gotta be real careful and keep your hands away from the chuck. That's what it looks like once we're finished up. This is my homemade, as it were, tube bending machine mandrel bender you can see the mandrel sitting there in the middle made this machine myself a few years ago works pretty damn good just double checking the old 3d prints when i get home that evening it's still going pretty good 3d prints are awesome but they do take a flipping long time to get going back at work the next morning taking out the supports had a little bit of trouble getting them to peel away from that section there. We got there in the end. Used a bit of super glue to stick it to the round part. Super glue didn't work though, it couldn't handle the pressures of the bends and it just popped popped off. But those bolts that you see there, they they thread all the way through into the aluminium, so that just kind of held it all in place. This is it then. First test bend. Didn't go to plan though, did it? I think because the pressure die wasn't sliding. As I bent the tube, it just stretched the tube to the point where it snapped. So got back into Fusion and redesigned that with those little bearings in there. And you can see that's worked out pretty sweet. Also put those metal plates on the top and bottom to try and kind of support it a bit. Yeah, look at that bend, eh? Well happy with that. And this is a test bend of the sort of complete tube. Worked out pretty good. Not 100% perfect, but we can work on that when it comes to making the production pieces. Just getting eyed up, set up to, to do the bends in here. You can have a look at it, see what it looks like. With those bearings on there, that worked a treat, didn't it? And that pressure die moves really freely and it just allowed the, the tubes to bend absolutely brilliantly. You can see there we've got three parts of each side. Bends look pretty good, don't they? So now you know, you can have a go at that as well. Using a 3D printed roller there on the tube notcher. This is also a homemade machine, as it were. It's not necessarily homemade because I made it in the workshop. And I use that to notch these little tubes up. They go between the two, the two frameworks, join it together. Just like that, see, get it tacked together. Made a little jig on the bench there, you can kind of see it. Just helps get it set up and held in the right place when it goes to welding. And there we go. Three frameworks, ready to go. If you thought that was any good, make sure to like and subscribe. That's what all the cool kids say, isn't it?